Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. We decided to show some footage of a recent trip we took just above the lovely Brecon Beacons in the Mid Wales and Powys area. Hidden amongst concealed and beautiful autumnal woodlands, come explore the small but mighty Broncliffe Castle with us. Most others of the time, the first castle here was a simple Mott and Bailey structure, built to defend the manor recently granted to Richard Fitzpons, an Anglo-Norman nobleman who was active as a marcher lord on the border with Wales. The stone round keep was added by the great-grandson of Richard, Walter de Clifford, in the early 13th century and the castle was occupied for another 200 years. The castle also played a small role in defence from far west England against the Welsh mutinies, including the famous rebellion led by Owen Glyndor in the early 1400s. But by this time the castle was owned by the Crown, and abandonment soon followed very shortly after, after leaving the ruin to peacefully decay and be what it is today. Amazingly, there isn't any need for any substantial works to be done here, as the keep remains largely intact and safe. At its peak, the castle consisted of a circular three-storey tower on top of a tall mot, overlooking an inner bailey protected by walls and corner towers, and also containing some smaller stone buildings and an outer bailey to the north, all enclosed by a moat. But no trace remains from either the bailey walls or the other stone buildings, which once included a chapel, a great hall and stables but this keep incredibly survives at its full height of 80 feet. What's fantastic about this small ruin is being able to see all of the different details inside the keep, with the windows, the stairways and the fireplaces all still accessible and have beautiful detailing, clearly showing you the elegance this castle once had. The belly of the tower is a dark, dingy, vaulted basement. It was sadly blocked off for us to explore, but it would have had no windows or heating and would have been entered only via a wooden trap door. This would have made the basement perfect for storage or for housing prisoners. Thankfully we get the chance to head straight to the top for incredible views across the Breckens. The tower's circular design gave archers an all-round field of fire 
to any unwanted visitors. And whilst on top, you can see why it was once of great strategic importance to both the Welsh and England. The views are panoramically breathtaking. So it certainly won't be a long trip visiting here, but it's the perfect historical stop off on your journey if you're traveling in the area. There is a lay-by just across from the entrance with room for about four cars, and the site is unmanned and free to roam as you like. We enjoyed walking around the area too and exploring some of the woodlands, but you could easily team up a visit here on your way down to Trotower Court and Castle, a beautiful place we discovered a few videos back head over to our playlist for more inspiration in South Wales. So if you've enjoyed watching the video, please hit that like button, hit the notification bell, and consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't already. We would love to say a big thank you to our Patreons, and a thank you to everyone choosing to join us on our explores. We'll see you in the next one. Till next time.